Hello everyone. I am Zahid Abbas. Welcome to my YouTube channel Matculus. In this video we are going to learn about the solid angle. This is the third video of the series in which we are trying to learn about angle. In the previous two videos of this series we have learned about the plane angle, the dihedral angle and the spherical angle. You can find the links of those videos in the description as well as at the end of this video. In this video we shall learn about the solid angle. Solid angle. In geometry a solid angle is the measure of the amount of the field of view from some particular point that a given object covers. For example, this is an observer and this is an object. The amount of field of view of this object on the eye of observer is this much. This amount of field of view is called as the solid angle. It is a measure of how large the object appears to an observer looking from that point. The point from which the object is viewed is called the apex of the solid angle. So solid angle is the angle made by a particular area of any two dimensional shape at a point. If we direct a torch towards a nearby wall and then switch it on, the light originates from the torch and spread on the wall like a circle. This circle has a particular area. If we go near to the wall, the size of the circle is reduced. And if we go away from the wall, the size of the circle is increased. Every time when we divide the area of the circle to the respective square of the distance between the wall and the torch, we get a constant ratio. This constant ratio is the solid angle at which the torch throws the light. Or it is the solid angle that the circle makes at the point the light is originated from. Of course, it is not changed while moving near to or away from the wall. Also note that a small object nearby may subtend the same solid angle as a larger object further away. For example, the solid angle subtended by this object on the eye of observer is this much. And the solid angle subtended by this object is the same one. Although the moon is much smaller than the sun, it is also much closer to earth. So when viewed from any point on earth, both objects have approximately the same solid angle as well as apparent size. This is evident during a solar eclipse. Measurement The SI unit of measurement of solid angle is stair radian. However, it can also be measured in square units of plane angle. Stair radian Stair radian is the unit of solid or three dimensional angle and is defined as it is the angle subtended by an area of one square unit at the center of a sphere of radius one unit. This is a sphere. It is one of the grid circle around that sphere and this is the diameter of that grid circle, it is also diameter of the sphere. And this is another one. 
and it is a circular area on the surface of the sphere this circular area subtend this much solid angle on the center of the sphere now if this circular area is equal to 1 square unit and radius of sphere is equal to 1 unit then the solid angle subtended by this area on the center of sphere is equal to 1 stair radian in this case when the area of the circle is 1 square unit and the distance between the wall and the torch is 1 unit then the circle makes a solid angle equal to 1 stair radian on the point the light is originating from stair radian can also be defined as stair radian is a solid angle between an observer and an object if the area of field of view of that object is one square unit and the distance between the observer and the object is one unit and this is the end of this video thank you for being with me stay happy stay safe see you soon with the next video till that goodbye Thank you.